welcome back to my channel in today's video we are making a sun hat so let's get right into the video i'm starting with this two colored yarn the my crochet hook is five uh, millimeter scissors and let's start so we're going to start with a we're going to need a granny squares so we're going to use five granny squares for the base of the art so we're going to start with a slip knot and we're going to chain four and now we are going to insert our hook in under the chain one space and pull up a yarn to make a magic circle and we're going to chain two into the chain two is going to count as our first double crochet so we're going to put chain of two now sorry three two double crochets and we need four clusters of three double crochet for the granny square then you're going to chain two and three more double crochets so we need four clusters so after three double crochets you make two chain two three double crochet chain two so now I am putting in my last three double crochet I'm going to slip stitch please make sure you chain two before you slip stitch So now once you're done with that I'm going to chain one and I'm going to cut off the yarn and change the color so now I insert my my new yarn then I'm going to chain two and I'm going to make two double crochets into that uh, I chain two space to make a corner so we're going to start to make a corner now um, after this I'm going to chain two after two double crochets then I'm going to insert again into the same space another three double crochets then So now after chain one I go into the next space and I make the same thing I'm going to do three double crochets chain two three double crochet And please do not forget to pull your yarn after you do your magic circle. And that is it. So I've got to the end of the row. So I cut off the yarn and I change again the color to the first color. And now we're going to just repeat the same thing. We are going to do insert the hook, chain two, three double crochet. It, yeah, three double crochet, chain one make the corners so you have four corners here so you're going to make three double crochets two chain two three double crochets at the corner and the rest of the space you're just going to put only three double crochets in the in heavy space and you just do your corners three double crochet chain two three double crochet
so this is the end of the third row now I'm going to chain one uh, slip stitch into the first chain two and cut off the yarn and change the color and I'm going to be making the last row now um, so we are just the granny square is just going to be four rounds so this is the third round I'm going to do the last one now with the other color And whenever you start the other round when you want to change the color you can start from any angle from any corner you prefer so i'm just going to insert the loop now my yarn and then i am going to chain two two double crochets into that space chain two another three double crochet into the same space then just keep putting three double crochets into the space another corner you're going to make uh, three double crochets two, chain two three double crochets So I'm at the end of the fourth round. I'm going to chain one now and put a slip knot in the chain two space on the top of the chain two. And we are going to cut off the yarn. So this is the end of the granny square. We are going to need five of this. So I'm going to make the other four now. And I'm going to meet you back and I'm going to tell you what is next to do. So once you are done with the five granny squares, um, now we are going to join it together, the granny squares together. So you are going to join it on a, on a strip, it's going to be like a long strip, so you are just going to do it together. And when you are joining your, and when you're joining your, uh, your granny squares together, make sure that um, the other side, I mean the other side, the back side is facing the front. Yes, yeah, facing the, you're facing uh, the front is facing each other, and then you're only doing it from the back of the granny square. So you're going to insert your work into that chain two space and start there, and you're going to just um, join it together. I'm joining my granny squares with a single crochet. I'm going to start with chain one, and I'm starting with chain one, and I'm going to use a single crochet to join the granny squares together and I'm going under both loops. I'm done with uh, joining the granny squares together. I'm just weaving in my yarn here. Uh, just uh, make sure that you continue to join the other three double, uh, the three <laughs> granny squares uh, on the side. Just uh, continue to do that. So the next thing to do once you join your 
granny scrapes together is to make the crown of the heart so yeah i am starting again with a slip knot and i'm going to chain five and now the crown of the heart uh, looks more like a pentagon so we're going to do five sides uh, it's going to be the same pattern i used for the granny square but we're going to need five yeah so we're going to do same insert how you can our yarn into the first chain and we're going to slip stitch and we're going to chain two and put two double crochets into the magic circle So for the crown, as I said, is going to be a pentagon shape. So we need five sides, and now we are just going to put three. We're going to do five clusters of three double crochets. We're going to do three crochet, a three double crochet, chain two, another three double crochet, until we have five corners. So I am done with the, the five corners. Now I'm going to slip stitch in the, in the chain on top of the chain to um, space, and then we are going to chain two. So and I'm going to put now I'm going to start with a corner. I'm going to put um, two double crochets into that chain, two space, chain two count as our first double crochet. So I am uh, going to put another three double crochet into that same space after the chain two and we are going to make our corner then I'm going to move to the next space um, the next space I'm going to chain one So on this round, on the second round, we're just basically doing the five corners. We're just doing three double crochets, chain two, and three double crochet again to make five corners. As you can see, I'm done here with the second round. And I'm just going to slip stitch and chain two and just repeat just continue so this second round so we need four rounds so we're going to do two rounds more of uh, the the crown so you're just going to continue do five corners three double crochets chain two three double crochets and just keep three double crochets into the next space
So this is the fourth uh, round of the crown and we're going to stop here now we're going to attach the crown to the base and um, I mean the five granny squares So now what we're doing here now is attaching the crown to the base of the heart. So as you can see I have attached all the five granite squares together. As you can see how it looks. So now we are going to do the same thing. Attach it here with a single um, single crochet like I did for the granny squares. And make sure that uh, you're sewing, uh, you're joining together the right sides. Just be careful. and. Uh, just join it with single crochet go under the two loops so as you're joining together the granite squares you just um it's both it's very easy because you have five sides and you have i'm oh, sorry you have five granite squares and you have uh, five sides for the pentagon for the crown so you just make sure you're going under each loop and just just once you're done, once you're done with one side, then you attach it to the other side, and just pretty simple. So I'm done here with uh, the five sides. Make sure when you get to the end of the side, you end it with a slip knot to hold your yarn properly and just cut off the yarn. And this is what you have. So we are going to start with the brim now. And now we are going to need uh, five, no, we're going to need five uh, stitch markers. So I'm using a bobby pin here. And you're going to stitch mark in the center of the granny square that means in the middle of it in the center just keep the stitch marker there now you're going to get your yarn you're going to start from any corner wherever you prefer you start from the corner and you're going to chain two Just make sure your yarn is uh, secured properly so I'm trying to secure my yarn here I'm going to chain two and I'm going to um, insert my work and do a two double crochet I'm going to chain one and move to the next space and do a three double crochet to chain one and now when you get to that stitch marker you remove the stitch marker make so you're going to make two double crochets in that space where we stitch marked chain um, double crochet chain one and two double crochet again into the same space so we are just like uh, increasing in that space you're going to chain one and go into the next space and make three double crochets so every time you get to the area, the place where we stitch mark, you're going to do two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet. And then we'll just keep putting three double crochets into every space. Into every space, you're going to put three double crochets and I'll meet you at the end of this uh, first round. Thank you. 
and this is the end of that of the of the first roll so I'm putting my last uh, double crochet three double crochet I'm going to chain one and slip knot and I'm going to cut chain one and I'm going to cut off the yarn and change to another color you can do this colors whatever way you prefer so for the second round of the the brim we are going to stitch we're going to make the stitch markers again and we're going to stitch mark uh, at the corner at the end of the granny square and that is after you count five uh, you count five three double crochets you stitch mark you're stitching at the beginning of every the, the, the edge of the double crochet of the three double crochet I hope you understand so now I insert my second color and now I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to chain two put a three double crochet two double crochet sorry into that first chain into the first space and you can start wherever you prefer you can start from any corner and so when we get to so we're just going to do this uh, three double crochet for now and you're going to chain one and move to the next space and do a three double crochet so you're going to chain one now um, remember the chain one you did, we did on uh, where we increased the stitch mark area in the first round we are going to put three double crochets also there so be careful so you do not skip that uh, chain one space you're going to put a three double crochet there chain one and you go into the next space and put three double crochet So once we get to the place where we stitch mark, we're going to remove the stitch marker and we're going to do the same thing that we did last time in the first round. Uh, we're going to do two double crochet, chain one and two double crochet. So every time we get to the area where we stitch mark, we're going to put two double crochet, chain one, two double crochet and we're just going to keep uh, uh, keeping three double crochet into every space and don't forget the chain one space to put three double crochets as well Now we are going to slip stitch the second round. We are, we are through the second round. You chain one, cut off the yarn, and change the color. So we are going for the third round for the brim, and now we are inserting the next color. That is going to be the last round. We are going to do just three rounds for the brim of this art, and I'm inserting my color now into that same space, and I'm just uh, doing chain two. Three double crochet now we do not need any stitch marker for this round so we're just going to just keep three double crochet all in the spaces now we do not need to increase anymore in this round so we just keep putting three double crochets and do not forget the chain one space do not skip it please
so now we slip stitch and we're going to chain one and cut off the yarn and do not forget to weave in your yarns afterwards and this is the end i hope you enjoyed the video please subscribe like and share my video subscribe 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 and i'll see you in the next one peace out